What's good, YouTube? Dragonman24 here, welcoming you back to another episode of our Let's Play of Fire Emblem Three Houses, the Golden Deer Route. We were picking up right where we left off in the last one. Uh, we are about to finish exploring, and then we're going to be finishing this chapter today. We have the Battle of the Houses today. Today's Ferdinand's birthday. Sure, we'll give him... We'll spend 200 on some flowers for him. Today is the mission. The Rivalry of the Houses. Rivalry of the Houses. White Clouds. Battle, eh? hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got to teach. Hey, 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 hey. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Right. There we I'll go. That's that's I better. To help too. <clears throat> I mean, I'm kind of obligated ah. to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs. Don't even think about it. Yeah, yeah, wink wink, I read you. <laughs> wink <laughs> wink, I read you. I love Claude. <laughs> I'd say hypothetically speaking, Students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. If they insist. Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. <laughs> Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right, so the first time around didn't go so well. We're going to try this again. Um, let me see something. Let me just check the stats of my students. Strength of 9, strength of 8. So Leonie is actually stronger than Lorenz, but in every way, she has higher strength and defense. So we're still bringing Leonie. Um, I think instead of Lysithia... We should bring Hilda. Or possibly even Ignatz. I think having two archers. Let me see something. Does Ignatz have. He does have curve shot. So, I think having two archers is probably our play here. Let's go for it. So, this is... I'm sure you already understand, but the how stay focused. Um We're going to go ahead and Yeah. Just sit tight with our Let's get to it. Bo. Ready and willing. Ready anytime. We don't really want to deal with Ash right now. I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to? I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. We are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? 
I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Okay. Yes! Okay, we dodged one. That's good. That's really good. Okay. So. We don't exactly want to deal with either of those two right now. So let's go ahead and do this. I will curve shot with Ignatz right here. Good damage on Ferdinand. And basically the same thing with Claude. The Crest of Regan just popped. Which does what? I don't exactly know yet. Um, let's assist. And heal by left. And let's take out Ferdinand. As expected. Okay. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. I'm nervous about that full might, but okay, if you say so. Dodge. Ugh. Okay. Okay, there goes Ash. So let's not worry about him too much anymore. Let's combat art. Curve shot. If we can actually get the two houses to start fighting against each other, it puts us at a huge advantage. I feel like Leone can take a bow, right? Let's check. Okay, your speed is 9, your defense is 7. Speed 13. Okay, it doesn't double us, so I don't think you're going to attack twice. And same amount of defense. So I feel confident in letting Leone get this kill. Another one down. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Okay, it wasn't. Be or at least that's the way it appears. You do attack twice, unfortunately, so I was wrong about that. But now we can do some pretty big damage to you. And we did it without losing anyone. That's the major plus here. Should I have held back? I don't think you need to hold back, per se. I mean, these students... These students should know what they're doing. Don't they have professors of their own? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I kind of have a strategy. We'll see if it works. Okay. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Who has the most movement? Or who has more movement, I should say. You have movement of four. They all have movements of four. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Stay focused. I have a strategy and it relies on movement. I think Claude is tankier than Ignatz, so my strategy involves Claude being put closest 
to the enemy. Let's get Leone healed up a bit. Thank you. Alright, we want to take out Dorothea first, for sure. Fifty-two percent chance to hit, and it misses. I kind of expected that. Now we can do this. Seventy-one percent chance to hit. That did connect. Okay, so we are extremely cautious about Edelgard's range of movement. But they're gonna start moving in now. Combat art, we're gonna curve shot Edelgard. Let me just see, I'm curious how much Ignatz would do. Four to five, so Claw definitely does more damage. To Edelgard, so we're gonna go for the eight. Real life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claw. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Oh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> Okay. That was some good damage. She does a one shot. Okay. If I say... Put Leone right here. She can't quite take her out in one shot. Combat art. We can do quite a lot of damage. I think it's worth it. Nine damage for free on Dorothea. And then I can bring my Leth in here to finish her off. And we already know for a fact. Oh, he, he can survive. Okay, perfect. I think we'll just wait there. And then we'll bring Marianne, Marianne up there. You're by yourself. Oh, she just... Okay. Um, let's see. Let's curve shot with Claude. We'll curve shot with Ignatz. And then we'll finish her off with Leone. That to me sounds like a sound strategy. It's only 5 damage, but it's 100%, so it's a guaranteed 5. There's no reason to scoff at that. And Leone can finish her off. We did that without taking basically any damage from Edelgard, which is good, because she does way too much. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. We're not going all the way in just yet. Uh, I will heal by left. Who's gonna have to deal with Manuela now? And that'll be our turn. Let's bring Ignatz up here. Having two archers is really... It's pretty good. Let me tell, let me tell you, it's pretty good. 
Uh, we'll bring you right there, and that's that. Come at me, Manuela. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Curve shot. Seven damage to Manuela. I wonder if I could split up the blue lion force. It might be possible. If I can get Dimitri to go south and Dudu to go north. And then have my heaviest hitters go up north. We'll finish you with a, with a wrath strike. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You fought well. There we go. All right. That's what I like to see. So you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now. I must focus and then make my move. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Beautiful work, Professor. But the true challenge starts now. Okay. Where where are you guys headed? Is what I want to know. Okay, so they're all going up. My first thought is gonna be to go around this way. Maybe I can cut them off from the back. Or not, not cut them off, but pick them off rather. Yes, okay. Because now it looks like the dude's going pretty far north and we're starting to get Dimitri to come south. If we can get Dimitri south by himself, then we've put ourselves in a pretty good position. Come on, Dimitri, take the bait. Yes! Okay. And to do keep. Yes! Okay. The strategies are working. Okay, we have three damage here. Seven or eight. So we have four, eight, twelve. Twelve plus thirteen. It's not going to be enough to take you out, unfortunately. So the smart thing to do would be to just wait him out one more turn. I don't want to go too, too far. Uh, but we also want to keep going south to keep him as far away from to do as possible. Okay. All right. So we're a little bit nervous about to do now. Uh, not quite actually. Let's combat art for four damage guaranteed. Let's curve shot for another eight. Princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. <laughs> this is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. <laughs> that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Two archers, man. It was the way to go, for sure. Okay. So he'll take you out. If we try that. He's gonna take someone out. Is basically what I'm saying. Unless... Is Marianne really gonna be able to do enough damage? Because he's got 15 hit points left, right? 
Oh, yes, Marianne. Our saving grace. Our saving grace. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. I managed to separate their forces. That was honestly the best play we possibly could have made. Yes! Oh, they separated themselves again. How dense can you be? So, the question is, do I try and take them on, take to do on right now? Okay, so Ignaz is useless here. Nosferatu is probably going to be our biggest play. Let's bring to do down here. And Mercedes is all the way over there. So, Marianne. Nosferatu, 9 damage. It's not bad. Let's combat art. Only 3 from Claude, which is unfortunate. But 3 is better than none. Dudu's pretty slow, so I don't think he's going to double up on Leone, which is perfectly fine. She's going to Tempest Lance, do some good damage to him, and by Leth will finish him off. By Leth won't finish him off. Oh, I think Leone's going down. Yeah, because Ignatz isn't doing anything here. Maybe the Iron Axe. No, because we can't combat our, the Iron Axe. Shoot. Okay, Leone's going down. It's unfortunate, but it's all we can do. <gasps> Unless she dodges! Clean! Oh, that was too good. Okay, Mary Ann can actually come in here and get the finishing blow. Please and thank you. Oh my god, Mary Ann. Okay. So you're gonna stand here and drink that vulnerary. And Mercedes, I feel kind of bad for this, but you're about to get super blown back. Look at that. And to think we somehow managed to do it without losing any units. I mean, I know that if we lost them on this map, they wouldn't be gone forever. But it's going to make it so much easier to take on Hanuman if we have everybody. Obviously. Let's heal up Leone. Thank you. Uh, we can't heal anymore. That's unfortunate. She still does have Nosferatu though, so that's good. Let's just have everyone unite around me. Thank you. Let's use a vulnerary. Now everyone's up to max. Max HP. Uh, let's not, let's not do that. Let's... Let's not even do that either. Let's bring everyone right up to the very edge of his range. Okay, this way 
everyone gets a, gets a try at him. Everyone gets a go. And that's my turn. Thirteen is big damage. Okay. Combat art for eight damage. Um, combat art for twelve damage. And I mean, we might as well let by left finish him off, right? Level three right now. 100% chance to deal 12. Thank you very much. Goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. As expected. As expected. Alright, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Golden Deer House. That was clean. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. That was some, like, professional strategizing right there. Work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. Everyone did well. Huh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. <laughs> well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Quad leading us into battle. Oh boy. I noticed that too. We just did what you told us, and we won! I love it! As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes. Of course. Well done, professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But Absolutely. More importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. Finely aged cheese. Thank you very much. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Bandits? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Regardless of social standing, students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. 
You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood? I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Uh huh? Nani? Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Right. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and are excited to see more Fire Emblem Three Houses of the Golden Deer route, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.